go up. Oh, we're losing it. There we go. Nope, it's collapsing on me. <laughs> Let's see if I can recover. Up went up. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong. See, I just grabbed the A riser. I grabbed all the risers. Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I've started a new channel because, you know, I have other interests than my main channel, and I'm gonna keep that more business-like for art folks. In this vlog channel, I'm gonna do a bunch of random stuff that I am interested in, for example, paragliding. So I've been paragliding, learning to do that. I'm still in training, but I'm getting better and better. And actually, this is for entertainment only. This is not any instructional video. So if you're interested in paragliding, I strongly, highly recommend, do not do this on your own. Go get an instructor. I've found wonderful instructors that has taught me so much. So we're just gonna do this for fun. There's quite a few people here at the park, but they're really far away from me, so I'm not concerned of getting close to them. But yeah, just uh, take a look at the site here. We have a river that is, the wind is coming offshore, so it's gonna be smooth air to help uh, help me kite a little bit easier. Um, yeah, so let's take a look around. I'll show you. I need to uh, fix my windsock, it's uh, a little bit short. But that's uh, one thing to have. Uh, and so I'm just gonna kite here where nobody's around. I have at least 100 meters all the way around me, so that should be safe. I shouldn't be drug off into anything or, you know, get caught up into anything. We could talk a little bit about uh, wind. So right now the wind is roughly five miles an hour. Uh, if for beginners, six miles an hour is what I would order if you could have perfect wind. And then laminar wind, like I was talking about, off a large body of water really helps it smooth. There's no turbulence and it's easy to ground handle and so forth. If you're not next to water, just a, a large plot of land where you have lots of space and where there's not buildings or objects that would either get in your way or cause any uh, turbulence. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up. I'm going to unpack my glider and we're just gonna have some fun doing some ground handling. I'll, uh, I'll share some of my tips now keep in mind these are just tips or things that i do but it's not a definitely not instruction for learning how to paraglide i've gone ahead and fixed my windsock here it's uh, now no longer touching the ground so one one thing i do is i i put it upwind of where i'm going to do my launching or kiting and that way i can see what the wind's like when it's coming for me and it's also not a bad idea to put one where you're at and then one upwind all right here is my beauty it is the Ozone Kona 2. And it's kind of a, I don't know, I guess a hybrid between paragliding, paramotoring is what's recommended. So I'm gonna be doing mostly paramotoring. It can be used for paragliding. Uh, here's, so we're gonna unpack the leading edge. Uh, yeah, here's the leading edge with all of the airfoils. So. I'll just lay it out, stretch it out on its belly here. It's a 27 meter wing. So that size of wing is good for my weight. It's uh, between an A and a B class. So beginner is A. Before I do that, my bad. I should have taken the risers, which are tucked in over here. Yeah, here's the risers. I usually clip them together. And I'm gonna stretch them out here so they don't get tangled up in the wing. There we go. So I got it about stretched out here. See, rather, rather large wing, isn't it? 
make sure you have lots of space. Yeah, so I have pretty light wind. I have about five mile an hour wind. Ideally six for reverse inflations. So we're gonna see if I can do reverse in this. I may not be able to. And if that's the case, then we'll do some forward inflations. And do that. Let's go ahead and clip into the glider here. I love this harness, by the way. It's called a SUP Air Radical 4. All right, so looking at the windsock, I'm straight into the wind, between the wind, myself, and the glider. So all three of those are in a straight line. So what I'm gonna do is go down from the carabiner down to my brake and grab my brake and make sure my brake line is clear. Grab that one, do the same to the other. From the carabiner, brake on the top, go down and grab it. So now I have my brakes in hand and I wanna do that, keep hold of those at all times. So if the glider goes away on me, I don't lose it what I'll do is go ahead and grab the rear. So first I'll grab this rear, and then I'll grab this rear. So there we go. And now I can go ahead and grab the A's, the inner A's. Trims are both in. All right, and step forward. And there we go. Not a lot of wind, but I can work with that. So that's how I'm keeping my knees bent. So I can use my butt power. Oh, come on. Oh, oh man. There we go. thing on me so there we go all right we bring it down that's one yeah all right so i'm gonna like that but okay I'm losing some pressure. And hey, I can actually keep it up in the air. Wind, say my prayers. And step back, forward. Okay, break on the right. Upwind, upwind. And go. There we go. Now I got some good tension. Wind shifting. See, I'm down on this belly strap. There we go. So, now it's giving me some lift. Now it's shifting. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, it's a blast. Over the land? Yeah. I would try. <laughs> Go for it. Love when people stop, say hello. The uh, purpose of this video is just going to be a short uh, ground kiting, ground handling. And, you know, there is a ground handling challenge where you have like different levels, like A, B, C, and D. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool to try those challenges out. I may do that uh, in a future video. But if you're at all interested in paragliding, uh, let me know if you have any questions. A uh, super fun sport, and if you do it safely, uh, it can be very predictable. Make sure you know about the weather, you know uh, the fundamentals of uh, how the glider works with aerodynamics, wing, wing collapses, wing failures, uh, obstacle avoidance. There's a lot to learn, so if you take it slowly, do the right steps in training, it uh, is very fun and very rewarding inspired by nature you're basically uh you know in god's painted world it's uh it's, it's wonderful
I'm going to take off from the uh, from the kiting site and go edit the video. Think about some more interesting things that you would like to see paragliding. And if you do, let me know. I'll be happy to to share those on my journey to help yours. That's what the sport's all about. Help each other out, inspire each other, and give glory to God. Peace.